I know all your secrets But you tell me stupid lies Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is your girl Mishi Wang. If you are new here, welcome. Join the family, click that subscribe button down below. On this channel, we do beauty, lifestyle, fashion, haul videos. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, then consider subscribing and click the subscribe button down below. Alright, so guys, this is the look that I will be doing today. We'll be doing the makeup look, drugstore, very affordable, everyday makeup look. Uh, routine as well as styling uh, installing and styling this bob wig so if you are if you are interested in that kind of thing then do keep on watching okay so guys this is what my face was looking like under the ring light light all right I use I was using natural light for this video uh, I love to use my natural sunlight whenever it's out and bright uh, I love to use that all right and so i wasn't using the ring light for this entire video all right i noticed while editing that it kind of looks pale and the ring light light is much better because i turned the ring light on to get those pictures and all of that all right but i noticed when i use the ring light it's it looks much better um, it shows my face much better. I don't know if it's the angle that I'm at, but it kind of looks pale now. So tell me guys, let me hear it down in the comments. What do you guys want for me to use? Do you want for me to use my ring light light or I can always use the natural light? Let me hear it. All right, so guys, um, onto the makeup look. I, The only thing that's changed about my makeup look is that I've started using my foundation to do my contour to do my highlights all right i powder contour most of the time it is less work and i still get that structure to my face all right so this is the foundation that i use to do my highlight my maybelline superstay foundation and for my foundation i sometimes mix my maybelline superstay and my maybelline foundation superstay yeah my maybelline foundation fit me foundation all right uh so yeah that's what i do i mix my superstay and fit me foundation because i have a darker shade in the fit me foundation which i mix with my regular shade i like to have my face looking a little bit darker especially when i put especially when i set with the um the thing that i used to set i don't remember the name of it but that's the white thing that i have on my face right now especially when i go ahead and set with that it can leave it gives you full full coverage guys and so because it's white and i'm covering it with the foundation it will sometimes leave my face looking too white and so i like to use something a little bit darker all right since i've started using this to set my face i haven't looked back uh yeah it, it's really it's a really good primer for me but of course i do moisturize i don't show these steps because guys you know if you've been watching my video from the get-go then you'd know add uh, um, what i do the steps that i do before i start my makeup but i probably shouldn't take this for granted because of course there are new viewers uh, so I probably need to put this in another video because I am thinking of doing another video with my makeup with my everyday makeup look because as I said the lighting just wasn't giving my face justice here so I'll put that I'll put everything in that video I'll show you what I used to what I do from the start I have videos already on my brows and the guys today I used got to be to do my brows my got to be gel to do my brows and I love the I love how they turned out. Oh, guys, guess what? I noticed got to be they have like a set. They have a a gel for to set your brows. No, I guess they they, <laughs> they got put on from persons using the got to be to set their brows. So they've come up with a new product. Um, while editing, I'll try to find. I'll try to see if I find it on the net and put a pic up so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, where was I? I. I'm considering redoing the video where I show every step, all the steps with what I do to do my face, that I take to do my face. Alright, so first guys, of course, you know, you have to cleanse, uh, you have to moisturize, and then you prime. Alright, after you prime, then you do your base. Um, some persons like to do their face, and then they do their eyes after. I'm an eyes girl, and then my face. Let me hear in the comments what step do you take first do you do your eyes first and then your face or do you do your face and do your eye your eyes after 
I particularly like to do my eyes first because I don't like to get my face my foundation messed up after doing my foundation even though guys to prevent that you can always put your setting powder to catch any eyeshadow droplets that will come onto your face but I rather um, skip that step and I prefer to do my eyes first so of course I for my everyday makeup look I don't usually put shadows on I just put some brown on to warm up my eyes and you know to give it a little bit different look from my face but I use some brown on my eyes and that is it my lashes and I am good all right I use my uh, a drugstore contour palette to do my contour i that's powder contour as i said i don't i don't use i don't know probably it's lazy or probably i don't know but i just i haven't been um cream contouring or anything um it's been a while since i've done that so i just go ahead and i do my powder contour my drugstore palette um i don't even remember the name of that palette it was just something that i saw and just picked it up i'll look if uh, it has a name and put everything down in the description everything that i'm using my on my face i'll leave in the description <laughs> my camera has a way of turning off and so every time you see me looking like that i'm looking to see if it's turned off on me all right so that's what i do this is a brush that i'll be using to uh, do my nose contour and yeah that this is about it um, i'm gonna go ahead to my hair afterwards and this is the hair that i did with the zigzag partings i didn't after doing the video i didn't like how the hair fall or how it was falling and so i decided i am gonna cut it i'm not gonna do it in a bob and i liked how it turned out here so guys continue watching and enjoy the video and if you are new here uh, thank you so much for watching till this part of the video if you are liking the content then consider subscribing click that subscribe button down below if you are not new here guys go ahead and share the video i am um, i want to reach more people we want to mm, um get more people in the family joining the family so go ahead and share the video that's how we get to new faces all right so guys what i'm doing right now is i'm doing my blush with my eyeshadow palette <laughs> and i've just gotten so comfortably using my blush palette my eyeshadow palette for my blush i haven't even tried to get another blush palette um that's for my personal use i haven't tried to get another blush palette because i i don't know it's just something with me when i get used to doing something i just i just don't like try to get I, i'm just comfortable with that you know and tr don't try to get other things all right but that's probably something that i need to change i'm doing my hair right now and yeah we'll soon be wrapping up this video so continue watching
so guys this all right so guys this is how the look turned out i'm absolutely loving how i'm looking i'm feeling pretty confident with how i'm looking this is my everyday makeup routine like every day like in the daytime if i want to wear makeup just for it something simple all right i don't really use shadows i just use a brown shad on my lids and pop those lashes on baby and i'm good to go with a smooth clear clean base and i get that from using my maybelline super stay foundation all right so i've started using my super stay foundation for my uh highlights as well all right and for my contour i just put a contour all right so that's what i've been doing for my everyday makeup all right and this wig i'll put the information i'll put the link in the description this wig is under 80 dollars i think it's 80 something it's under a hundred dollars for this wig and this is how i style this wig for my everyday uh wear all right i love a clean crisp bob and so i had cut it from the last install that was the only time that i installed it so this is my second install all right so i had cut it from that time because i really didn't like how it was looking it keeps on hitting on my lip gloss and so that's why this part looks like this but yeah this guy this here is very bouncy it's flowy and that's because i had cut it into a bob all right for this for my eyebrows guys i went ahead and used my got to be to set my brows in place and and if you haven't seen that video where i did my um my eyebrow tutorial using my got to be for to set the brows then you can go ahead and check that video out i'll put it on the end screen for you to check it out but guys i use my got to be to set my brows in place and they're looking pretty natural they're giving me natural vibe like the new way of doing brows all right so this is the look guys let me know how you feel about the look down in the description don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl miss you wang for more videos like this one i live for your comments guys i live for your uh suggestions <laughs> i had a brain freeze just now all right so guys i live for your comments i live for your interactions i live for those suggestions so go ahead and let me hear what other video you'd like to see me doing down in the comments yeah let me see what other video let me hear what other video you want to see me do in the comments all right guys so thank you so much for watching again